Hi YouTube, thanks for clicking. This is a Tesla full self-driving 10.8 video. We are in Chicago on the south side of the loop, right up against Lake Michigan, headed north. We got the full self-driving engaged. Doing a quick little video just to see how it takes some of these turns. It will revert back to um, navigate on autopilot here in a little bit. Got a little bit of holiday traffic, people coming in from the Christmas weekend on Sunday. I also wanted to take a moment to thank a few of my new subscribers, Ben H, Bill C, Frank F. Really appreciate the support and keep the questions coming. Hope you enjoy this video. In 1,000 feet, keep right to take US 41 North. Pretty good lane positioning. Um, when you're in this full screen, it's actually showing a lot more of the opposing traffic's visualizations here, which I, I like actually quite a bit. We'll fast forward through this light. It does seem to be that the full self-driving 10.8 is a lot better at recognizing when brake lights are applied. Seems a lot more accurate to previous versions when they go on, when they go off. Seems like it's a little bit able, able to better to keep right to take US 41 North. Better perceive between sunlight hitting the lights and the lights actually being on. We've just reverted back to navigate on autopilot and then it should revert back to full self-driving once we've done a couple more bends in the road. The navigate on autopilot has been really confident this uh, ride. I've done basically a 185 mile drive on the highway and it's done a really good job. No complaints. Handling this unmarked section rather well. You can see here that we still have it on two car lengths as the maximum following distance, uh, minimum following distance it'll allow. So we are using full Tesla vision, no radar. Um, and I would say that traffic slowdown and the stopping was really quite good. We just pop back onto the full self-driving beta visualizations. I think we'll do that for a couple more lights and then the, um, the Lakeshore Drive hairpin turn, S turn coming up. So it's got really good lane positioning right now. The lighting is quite nice at this time of day, so not a lot of long shadows, um, kind of like nice diffuse lighting. So we'll see how it does this. A little bit 
more slowing than I would have undergone, but taking the turn at probably exactly the speed that I would be, um, that was great. And now we're back on Navigate on Autopilot. Most human drivers wouldn't be exiting a lane on a curve. That's one thing I've been noticing about Navigate on Autopilot. It loves to turn, it loves to change lanes during a turn, which is just not something that most humans do. It's more so something that you would do if you have to, but typically you would wait until the road straightens out before you change lanes. So people drive fairly fast on Lakeshore Drive. The speed limit is 40. People drive about 56 to 60. So we'll bump that up and uh, see how it does. I'll fast forward through this unless there's any notable parts of the drive. And then we will come out of fast forward when we are exiting Lakeshore Drive onto city streets. Okay, I'm just gonna add some commentary there that when you're in this full screen mode, there's actually no way to tap to cancel the lane change. Um, on my drive home on the highway before filming this, I, I really wasn't using the full screen view. So you really have to use the turn signal to cancel the turn. That's something that just caught me off guard, wanted to call out. slowed for that red light that's not on the highway for some reason, so I reported that. Okay, we're coming up on our exit, so we'll be flipping back into full self-driving here pretty soon. Just at that um, stop sign coming back off of the highway, I did have to give it some pedal. There were some humans that were... Um, really should have been stopping because I would have been entering the intersection, but they were going to keep walking into the crosswalk. So I just helped the car um, navigate that tricky situation. The, you know, the, the official thing that you should do is stop if there are pedestrians in the crosswalk, but since they were going to enter as I was going, they were more like jaywalkers at that point. So pushed it through. Just wanted to take this moment to say thank you for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I've gone from 50 to 70 in just about four days. So I really appreciate it. Um, I would ask if you're not subscribed and you're enjoying these videos I'm putting out, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, press the notification button. I'm going to be adding a lot more videos about 10.8 going forward. And these next stretches of full self-driving, you know, I think we're in Tesla's definitely doubling down efforts, tripling down efforts on their full self-driving. So I think um, we're going to see a lot more improvements as we sprint toward making the robo-taxis a reality. So really would appreciate your support in helping me grow this channel and, and show for you kind of all the progress that's being made by Tesla. So really do appreciate it. Um, cars creeping up past the line, which it really shouldn't do here, actually. The, the line there is for um, a reason. You've got double long buses that are turning here. So the line has to be further back at that light so that um, you don't get swiped by a bus trying to make its right turn. So, all right, I am all finished up with this drive. Just wanted to put this out for you, let you guys see some of the progress that 10.8 has made. I would say it's doing really well um, and yeah, I think uh, right there we put on a turn signal too, a little too early. So thanks for watching. Take care.